Hello there, welcome back. In this particular episode of Pimp My Filter, we're going to be taking a look at this, which is the Eheim Echo Pro 300. So let's not waste any time. We'll take the top off and I'll show you how it works and what comes with it. Okay, to get this open, you tilt this forward, press that in, and that disengages the lock and allows the top to come off. So that's our pump section. Okay, now what happens with this is, the water comes in, it then goes around here. This is like a pre-filter foam. See that? It's like in a ring. So the water goes through there first, and then it goes all the way around the outside of the main trays, down to the bottom, and then the water rises up through the trays, through here, so it comes out the middle, and then it's sucked up by the pump, spat back out to the tank. So we've got pre-filter tray, that sits under the pre-filter tray and that allows the water to come back up through the centre of the pre-filter tray now to our pump, but it serves a dual purpose. It also spreads the water out on the way into the filter and down the sides of the trays. And then we've got three trays. I like these because they're locked together. So there we've got a top tray, and that comes with just a fine pad in. Next tray down comes with nothing in. And then the tray down from that comes with uh, like a, a mechanical stroke biomedia. That's meant to settle out all of the muck. So that is a pretty good cartridge sort of a system. You know, it all locks together. And I like that. I really do like that. Just enables you to remove it easily. Okay. That probably makes it a little bit easier to see what's going on. Water hits this around the outside first, so it comes out through the underneath of there, down the side of here, up through the trays, back out the middle. Now as it's set up now, really all it needs is some media, and the suggestion is that you put the filter media under here, so you put a little bit in there, and then you fill that tray up with filter media. There's a massive problem there, because if this pad is the last thing that the water hits before leaving the filter, all the fine muck is going to get concentrated in your biomedia. It's going to clog up very, very quickly, and it's going to be very, very inefficient. We need all of our mechanical filtration to be done before the water hits the media. So here's how we rectify that situation. First of all, we get rid of this plastic stuff. Plastic media has no place whatsoever in a filter unless it's moving. If it's a moving bed, it's okay because it supports very vigorous bacteria. If it's static, really all it is is a mechanical media. So we're going to leave this ring, this pre-filter ring, as it is. We cannot really do much with that and it does catch quite a lot of the heavy muck that comes into the filter first. We're going to use the fine pad in a moment, but we're going to concentrate on this bottom tray first. And we're going to cut a coarse foam for the bottom tray. That's our coarse foam. It's one of the pond filter foams with the dimples on. Dimples go down. That's it. So the water's going to come up and hit the dimpled side first. Then we're going to go with a medium foam. And that is a medium density foam. So whilst the black one was quite open poured, this one is slightly tighter. So it's going to catch the medium density muck. So that one, again, dimple side down. Ooh. 
we might just get the fine pad on top of there. And then on top of that, yeah, I'll go in. Our fine pad. So that's our very bottom tray. Coarse, medium, fine. That'll squash in, no problem. And now that leaves us two trays for media. Happy days. It's a simple setup. And into the media trays, we're going to put the old faithful Bio Home Ultimate. Because this water distributor sort of column attachment that goes on the top has got about an inch to play with, when that goes on the top, we do have room to kind of heap the media up in this tray. The tray underneath needs to be pretty flat, very level. This one can be heaped up a little bit. Yeah, we'll easily get that in there. And on top of that, we can put the carbon pad that comes with the filter. That goes on top of there. Yeah, that's a good fit. So now when the water hits our pre-filter, goes down the side of the trays, up, through coarse, medium, fine foam. Then it goes through two trays of filter media and then it goes through the carbon pad. So we've got mechanical, biological, chemical filtration in the right order. Drop that back in there, that in there, top on. And we're ready to go. Now according to Eheim's website, this particular filter is for aquariums up to 300 litres or, in the real world, for aquariums of about 160 litres. Now we managed to get approximately... hold on, hold on, hold on! There's room for more media in here. Yes, indeed there is. A little bit, just in here. We're going to get a few more bits of Bio Home Ultimate in. I never like to see any wasted space in a filter. Yeah. This maybe is another 100, 150 grams in there. Not much. Every little helps. There we go. Okay, so with that extra little bit of media in there, we've got, oh, let's see, each tray held roughly 650 grams, so that's 1,300 grams, 1 1.3 kilos, 1 1.4 kilos, possibly, if you pack it in neatly, up to 1.5 kilos in here. And for a uh, Normally stock tank of 160 litres, which is what they're recommending, 1.5-ish kilos is about right. By the time you take into account your substrate, that knocks your, the literage off your tank, and also your ornaments and so on, they all eat into the literage that's actually in your tank. So that is sized correctly, according to Eheim's website. Eheim are the only company to get this right. All the other companies will say, our filter does up to 300 litres, but 300 litres of what? They say for aquariums of about 160 litres, so they're basically halving it, which is what I've said so many times in my previous videos. Eheim, do it right. I'm not too happy with the way the filter actually came set up, but the size of the filter is right based on it being set up properly like it is now. So that was a really easy one to do. There was no drilling, there was no cutting any slits in it, there was no alterations to do really. It was just a simple matter of setting it up correctly. 
If you've enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see me do one of your filters, then by all means get in touch. My contact details are in the video description. UK only though, because it costs a fortune to send this abroad. Um, yeah, if you want to share it anywhere, if you think anybody else might benefit from watching this, by all means share it anywhere you want on the intranet. And I shall see you next time. Thanks for watching. Looks like a toothpick, man. No, it's not a toothpick, man. No, hey, it is a toothpick, man. Oh, man, it's just... It is a toothpick. <laughs>